Hello, I'm Mark Blunden and this is the Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, 100 new species discovered nearly three miles underwater. But first... NASA says its $118 million moon lander Odysseus is alive and well despite having toppled over during lunar touchdown. The first US moonshot since 1972 has not gone smoothly after the six-legged, 13-foot tall cylinder-shaped spacecraft tripped over and fell onto its side. But hopefully all is not lost. It came down, I think, slightly too fast and just knocked over. So it's currently lying on its side with the antennas pointing not ideal but we're getting a signal from them so we're getting data and passing that data back to Houston. That's Matthew Crosby Chief Technology Officer at Cornwall based Goonhilly Earth Station which is among international companies helping the spacecraft transmit data back to Earth. We've been given a tracking information so where the spacecraft is. Our beam basically covers a very small part of the moon and we can move that beam like a torchlight and we just move the torchlight slightly off the moon. So we still get the signal, but we don't get as much moon noise. And he explains what's next for Odysseus, with the clock ticking due to its very limited lifespan. It was always designed to only work for one lunar night, which is about 14 days. So once the sun sets on the moon, it's going to get very cold and it's going to be very difficult for the equipment to survive that very harsh temperature. When the sun comes up again, we will do another session to see if they've survived the lunar night. Odysseus landed close to a crater on the moon's south pole, with Mission Control now working to obtain the first images from the lunar landing site. Next, privacy experts have raised concerns about a new satellite capable of spying on faces and number plates from space that's due to launch next year. Startup Albedo has signed $2 million contracts with the US Air Force and National Air and Space Intelligence Center to help the government monitor national security threats. The company says its highly detailed images are made possible using telescope mirrors polished to one one thousandth the size of a human hair, allowing zooming into very close distances on Earth from 100 miles up. But there are fears it could be deployed as a giant camera in the sky for spying on people without their knowledge. Behold the Bezos bot. Well, kind of, because Amazon has joined the likes of Microsoft to pour in $675 million into a startup specializing in humanoid robotics with artificial intelligence inside. Bezos has pumped $100 million alone into Figure AI via his venture firm Explore Investments in the hope of the first off the shelf humanoid droid that could help plug gaps in the workforce, such as undertaking jobs too dangerous for a person. BMW was already using the robots to work on the production line at its car plant and high voltage battery facility in South Carolina. Next, scientists exploring the waters off the coast of Chile have discovered a new underwater mountain that's home to more than a hundred new species, including corals and lobsters. Researchers from the Schmidt Ocean Institute have been examining a 1,800 mile long underwater mountain chain stretching from Chile to Easter Island using an underwater robot scouring the depths nearly three miles down. Other creatures discovered during the dives include a web-like sponge, sea spiders and spiky urchins. Now, scientists at Hochschule Geisenheim University in Germany have discovered a new method of squeezing apple juice, which they say may help to boost the fruit's health benefits. The study found the new method boosted polyphenol content by four times as much as regular apple juice. Polyphenols are natural plant compounds found in fruit, red wine and cocoa, which are antioxidants and are thought to have a range of health benefits for the heart and brain and may protect against disease. So how's it done? Researchers say they can maximise these healthy compounds in the juice by using a new method called a spiral filter press, which actively takes out more oxygen by vacuum-driven pressing. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science. Plus, would you trust Elon Musk to manage your emails? Why not hit follow? In the meantime, give us a rating. Welcome back. We've had email and Gmail, but what about Xmail? 
Yes, Elon Musk is taking on email providers with his own service, which is soon expected to integrate into his social media platform, formerly known as Twitter. The tech tycoon has teased that Xmail is coming, but it will have a way to go to beat the dominance of Google's own product. Gmail's popularity has ballooned to nearly 2 billion global users. And finally, a collectible coin celebrating George Michael has been unveiled by the Royal Mint. The £5 coin, which costs considerably more than its face value, features the singer-songwriter and Highgate resident signature look from his debut solo album, Faith. It is the latest in the Mint's Music Legends series following David Bowie, Sir Elton John and Queen. Designed by artist Sandra Diana, the new collectible coin portrays a headshot of Michael wearing his trademark sunglasses and an engraving of the refrain of faith. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the latest news, interviews and analysis from the Standard Podcast here in London and we'll be back on Tuesday at 1pm. See you then.